The Mutual Audio Network, where relaxation and imagination blend. Listen responsibly. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. Electric Vicuña Productions presents The Sonic Society with Jack Ward and David Alt. So I've got this beacon thingy right here in this empty part of the audio space. What do you want to do with it now? If my calculations are correct, and there's no reason why they shouldn't be since I am now one with the heart of the tortoise, and therefore one with all of the audioverse, if you keep holding that in position, we should see Alba Salix momentarily. Alba Salix? Yes, Alba Salix, royal physician, An excellent new audio drama from another Canadian by the name of Eli McElveen. Well, hurrah for integrated hosts with the tortoise. Good morning, Millie. Good morning to you, Your Majesty. Tea? Yes, please. Beautiful day out today. The girls are off to their riding lessons. Yes, but it took a bit of doing. Wilhelmina's still unhappy they don't have unicorns. Well, Mummy and Daddy can't afford unicorns this year. Where is Gunther, anyway? His Majesty's still in bed, I think. No, I'm awake. Ooh, almost awake. I swear, there must be something in that tonic Alba gave me for... Oh, my word, Your Majesty! Millie, oh, do take better care. Look what you... What? Terrible? What's the matter? Your hair! It's all snakes! Look in the mirror! Oh, for heaven's sakes! Get Elba in here! <clears throat> By appointment to the king and queen, Alba Salix, royal physician. <laughs> Episode of the first. Well met. Grind and add seven leaves dried catnip. Is that for dose or the whole cauldron? Alba! Hi, Jerome. I was wondering if you could help me out. I'm a bit busy this afternoon. Oh, this won't take long. I've just been having a touch of the old rheumatism again. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I was wondering, since you're so good with potions and all, if you could mix up something. I've got three prescriptions to fill right now, Jerome. Oh, not to worry. I can wait. Excuse me a moment. Yes, can I help you? Yes, I need to see someone about my back. You're in luck. Our visiting chiropractor, Balthig the Ogre, is in today. Have you seen him before? No, I have not. All right. You'll need to fill out this patient information form. Certainly. Boy, a centaur. You don't get many of them around, eh? No, we don't. So, um, you coming to the palace tonight? The palace? To see the show. The Dragon Mountain monks are in town to perform astonishing feats of acrobatics and martial arts. Not interested. I really don't need to see a bunch of bald weirdos jumping around and chopping firewood with their hands. But, Alba, they're doing the great sword dance. The monks only perform it publicly every eight years. Yes, very exciting. Seen it. Hold on. What's this about a consultation fee? I'm afraid chiropractic isn't covered for centaurs. How is that fair? Well, you've got twice the vertebrae and two rib cages. It's discrimination. I don't set the prices. Take it up with Balthig. He's right through there. I believe I will. Where was I? One penny weight of powdered parchment leaf. Bring to a boil. Alva! I have put the hiccups. Do you really? They're terrible, awful. How do I but make them stop? Well, that's easy. Just stand on one foot. Uh Uh-huh. No, the left one. Now, give me your hand and put out your pinky finger. Like that? Just like that. Good. Now, hand me that big pair of shears. These shears? Hold still now. Okay. Keep that finger out nice and straight. 
No, wait, 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 wait. What what is it? They're gone. The hiccups, they're all gone. Are they? Well, that's a relief. I guess you get to keep your finger then. But if you ever have bad hiccups again, you just come and talk to me. Okay? Oh, okay. You're sure they're gone? Totally gone. Um, thanks, Alba. Don't mention it. Now other side, please. Supposed to rain again tomorrow, I heard. Are you still here? And the day after that. (laughs) I don't know how they tell. Do you know how they tell, being a witch and all? Jerome, (coughs) I'm supposed to cure the ills of an entire kingdom here, and you are wasting my time. Oh, so about my rheumatism... Yes, yes, you're right, sorry. (laughs) Here, take this. Drink a mouthful with every meal. Don't bug me anymore. Oh, well, thank you kindly then. Miss Alba Salix? Yes. The king requests... The king requests your presence at the palace. Oh? Tis a matter of some secrecy, he says, and most urgent. Now what? Oh, tell him I'm on my way. All done. Yes. Mm. Thank you. That's much better. You pay now. Yes, yes, of course. Uh... Very reasonable rates indeed. Remember, stretching. Take care, bye bye. Ahem. Miss Alba Salix to see your Majesty. Hello, Alba. Hi, Gunther. Did you try out that hair tonic I gave you? Yes, about that. What's a towel for? Washing your new head of hair, were you? Look. Oh, uh... Notice anything different? Well, yes, you have a lovely full head of... uh, Snakes. That's the word I was looking for. How did this happen? Clearly a result of your little tonic. Clearly not. There's no way it could have caused anything like this. Alba, what am I supposed to do now? Well, the uh, serpentine look is very in this year. Gorgon chic, they're calling it. I will not live with snakes on my head. What if one of them bites me? Oh, they're only garter snakes. They're quite harmless. Parabel won't come near me. I can't go out in public like this. I was looking forward to the Dragon Mountain Monk show this evening, too. Yes, yeah, sorry, Your Majesty. I'll see what I can do. And what am I supposed to do in the meantime? I keep the towel on. Snakes like the warmth. Good work, brothers. Let us take 15 before we rehearse the second half. Father Lang, can I show you my moves now? Not now, Brother Magnus. But you promised to let me show you. I've been working hard. Magnus. Please, I want to be a warrior monk. You are young still and have not the proper energy and attitude to pursue the art of combat. But I want to learn to kick through walls and kill people with just my eyelids. Why the hell else would I join your stupid order? (laughs) Ow! I mean, why the heck? You only prove my point. Okay, sorry. I renounce all worldly things and promise to use my powers for good and I don't have an ego and stuff. Can I be a warrior monk now? Magnus, your skills lie in other areas. You have it in you to be an excellent healer. Stupid healing. Can't you just teach me, like, one secret pressure point? Like the one that makes your rib cage explode? Hush, boy. Excuse me, are you Miss Alba Salix? That's me. I am Father Lang of the Order of Dragon Mountain. Well, it's nice to meet you. Look, is this going to take long? I've got an important matter to attend to on behalf of His Majesty. I understand you are the head of the new House of Healing. And as such, I wonder if you might have a place for a young man who shows great potential as a surgeon. A surgeon? Permit me to introduce Brother Magnus. Are you a witch? Magnus... This is Miss Alba Salix, the royal physician. A woman physician? You gotta be kidding. An apprentice? This kid? I'm 17. And I know martial arts. I can't say he sounds of much use to anyone, let alone me. He does have some skill, and he's got great potential. Mm, I don't need any assistance. You heard the witch. I certainly don't need him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some herbs to gather. Gunther? Yes, Parabelle? Did Alba get rid of the snakes? She's working on it. 
Though I might as well give in and get Crankle in here to have a look. You said you weren't going to ask him. Well, what choice do I have? Well, maybe I can help. What do you propose to do, dear? Well, you know how I have mystical powers, too. Yes? I am Alba's sister, remember? And do you know any snake removal spells? Well, not spells. I haven't studied the way Alba has, of course... But if I concentrate and picture you in my mind without the snake... Yes? And then uh, if I kiss you... You'll have to come a little bit closer for that, dear. Uh-huh. Mm. Anything? Not yet. Uh, kissing always works. Perhaps if you were to kiss each snake individually. Uh-huh. Go ahead. All right. Here we go. Okay, you'd better summon Crankle. Good morning, Meadow, good day. You're the loveliest meadow of all, I dare say. Hello, Mr. Hedgehog, hello, bumblebees. Hello, daisies and blackbirds and sycamore trees. Snakeweed, why can't I find any snakeweed? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. Why don't you watch where you're flying? Here, let me help you with your basket. My name's Holly, by the way. Bloody fairies? I can manage my basket just fine. Oh, choke cherries? Are you making a liver tonic? No. A poultice? No. A charm against thieves? No. It's for removing snakes from someone's... Who the hell are you anyway? Oh, choke cherry doesn't remove snakes. That's just an old wives' tale. Sorry, didn't mean it like that. Being that you are, you know... An old wife? I didn't mean it like that. I'm neither. Thank you very much. Now, excuse me. You know what's better for removing snakes? It's silver bark. Did I ask? It seemed like the best way to help you out. You know, to make amends for bumping into you and calling you an old wife? That's very kind. I don't need your help. Fine. But really, you should try the silver bark. There's a stand of it right over there. All the books I've ever read say choke Cherry. Who are you going to believe? A bunch of books or an expert herbalist? Expert? You? You can't even fly straight. Well, that's probably just the rainbow cap angel mushrooms I was trying earlier. Seems like they mess with my sense of direction. I should make a note of that. Uh huh. It's my big research project, see? I've been working my way through the native fungi of Feloria to find out their effects on fairy physiology. And suddenly all is explained. Can I at least carry your basket or something? No, thank you. Please, I need to do you a good deed to set things right. It's what we fairies do. Here, let me, let me. No, let go, you. Don't make me smack you. You can nothing. I can always. Ow! Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bloody fairies. <laughs> <clears throat> the Sorcerer General to see you, Majesty. Crankle. Your Majesty. Do you know anything about snakes? Removing them, I mean. Are they getting into the palace gardens again? No, they're on my head. Oh, dear. And how did this come about? Oh, let me guess. Was it perhaps that physician of yours? It was supposed to be a hair tonic. Oh, dear me, how terrible. Is there anything you can do? Uh, it's a tricky business, this. Uh, do you have any more of the tonic, so-called? Alba took the rest of the bottle. Well, without being able to perform an analysis on this preparation, I will require more time to formulate a suitable remedy. I hope you're enjoying yourself, Crankle. No, not at all, Majesty, but I did warn you, if I recall. Yes, yes. Stop poking at my snakes. With respect, Majesty, it is a consequence of allowing, if I may be so bold, a self-taught hedge witch to minister to the health of yourself and the kingdom at large. Thank you, Mr. Crankle. Dr. Crankle. Dr. Crankle. Just look for a remedy, please. Of course, Majesty. Two parts tincture of rosehip to three parts dragon scale oil. Reduce heat and add three leaves of cow parsnip. Rat. You! I have wronged you, Miss Alba Salix, and now I must What make... are you doing in my pantry? I must do three good deeds for you to set things right. Look, I brought you a new basket. How did you get in here? Um, through the window. 
Sorry about that, by the way. You broke my window. I know. I'm sorry. I'll fix it. Okay, so that's four good deeds. But look, I've been sorting your pantry. Look! You've been... Oh, great Ivor, what have you done? I had everything filed away. It was a crazy jumble. I don't know how you could ever find anything. There's a system. I had a system. Mm. And now I've got about two minutes to come up with a potion for the king. Oh, cow parsnip, cow parsnip. Look at this. They're not even in alphabetical order. No, see? Alphabetical order doesn't make sense. I mean, if you're looking for cow parsnip, is that under C for cow or P for parsnip or H for Heracleum? You tell me. <laughs> I've organized them all by their Glade Miles Herbal Catalog number. Oh, gods help me. This is the 800s, which is everything with a hollow stem. Here's your hemlock, fennel, parsley, and look, cow parsnip. You want the greens or the flowers? Give me that. You're welcome. And put my shelves back the way they were. But I have to do a good deed so that we can make... Here's your good deed. Put everything back and then get out of my pantry. Jeez, okay. If there's one thing I don't need, it's more help. Elva, for heaven's sakes, I've got half an hour before I have to be back at the palace for the monk show. There you are, Gunther. I was just uh, finishing up the mixture. Here, get that towel off. Drink this. Thank heavens. Ugh, how long will it take? It should be instantaneous. Is there any particular instant you had in mind? Just give it a minute. I don't feel anything. Hey, Alba, what should I do with this pumpkin extract? Oh, hey, you kind of look like the king except with the snakes on your head. I am the king. Oh, I like the snakes. I don't. Damn, they're not shifting. I told you, silver bark. Well, I don't have any. Not to worry, I brought some from the meadow. Look, just grind it up finely, squeeze out the juice into one cup pear cider vinegar. Who is this person? Oh, her name's Holly. She's she's an expert herbalist. So she claims. Dash of nutmeg, and here you go. Mm, it's actually not too bad. My word, it's working! Here, bend down, quick! No, no, use the basket. Take them outside. See, it's the oils in the silver bark. They help the snake's tails grow out and detach from your head. Dear me, I've never been so glad to be bald. Bye, little snakes. Great. They're all going under the furniture. That's the last of them. Thank heavens. Oh, I must get back to the palace. Thank you. Holly, is it? Any time, Your Majesty. Alba, I do hope you're keeping her on. No. I'm holding out for someone even more annoying. What did I tell you? It was the choke cherry, a delayed reaction. Was that a good deed or what? And now I have three dozen snakes living in my office. All right, I can help with that. Hey, if they sprang from the king's head, does that make them all princes and princesses? I don't care. Chuck them out. Ooh, hi, cutie. Ooh, I'm going to call you Princess Coily. And you, you look like a time roll. Holly the basket? Yes, ma'am. Your Royal Majesties, ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present, from the far western reaches, the warrior monks of the Order of Dragon Mountain. Impressive, aren't they? Mm, I like that one. Parabell. You had your belly dancers last week. You insisted they wear robes. Look. What do you call that? It's traditional garb. It looks drafty. That's rich. Coming from Mr. Ooh, the Sultan of Spangililand has a harem. Why can't I? I didn't say that. Oh, yes, you did. Well, I didn't say it like that. Your Majesty. Frankel. What are you doing here? I have found a remedy for the snakes that have been plaguing your royal scout. Your snakes? What's happened to them? Alba took care of them. Did she? Well, she and her fairy. Which fairy would this be? If you please, Mr. Crankle. Dr. Crankle. The show is about to start and you're being most distracting. Indeed. Yes. My apologies, Majesty. Say good evening to you both. Fairy, huh? Hmm. Your Majesties, we humbly offer you the golden sunflower head slice technique demonstrated by Brother Cole and Brother Fang. Ooh, 
That looks dangerous. Oh, nonsense. All those swords are blunted so no one gets hurt. <laughs> On the other hand... <laughs> Who on earth is that? The boy's going to take someone's head off. Brother Magnus, what are you doing? Your Majesties, I apologize. This is not part of the... Winter. Get off the stage! <laughs> Look! Father Lang! The spiral pose! <laughs> Shouldn't we call the guards in? The monk should be able to handle it. He's one of theirs, after all. <laughs> not a very good one. Tiger Claw! <laughs> Magnus! Not around the tent poles! Hurricane Blade! Woo! <laughs> Cannon kick! <laughs> Magnus! Come away from that pole! <laughs> Magnus! Oh dear! Maybe it's gone and gutted himself. Oh dear, there's blood everywhere! Ow! Damn it, I mean. Curse it, I mean. Doggone drat in the head. Father Lang! Are you alright? Find the right place to stand, and the violence and troubles of the world shall pass you by. I'm fine, too. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be a um, short break in the performance. I'm telling you, it makes perfect sense. It's all in the book. It would help if either of us had this book. What's next? Purple cone flower? That's in the 900s. No, wait, rats. It should be right here between sunflower and ray. Uh, never mind. I'll just get some from the garden. I know it's here somewhere. Thank you for your help. I can sweep the rooms, too. Organize your office. No! But I haven't made amends properly yet. We'll call it even. No, no, that's not how it works. Upon my honor, as a good fairy, I have Sitting solemnly... S- Miss Salix. Yes? What's happened? A boy has been injured. Oh, dear. One of yours? Hey, Doc. Oh, it's you. He ran out during the performance, fell on his sword, and brought the stage tent down on himself. Least he could have done is finish the job. Holly! What can I do? I need fresh blood wart. Lots of it. Coming up! Miss Salix, I would entrust young Magnus to your care. What for? I'll bandage him up and you can be on your merry way tomorrow. He is badly hurt and we are leaving town early. King didn't appreciate the impromptu renovations, huh? He was tough, but fair. Here's the blood wart. Oh, jeez, the poor kid. Mm, Seventeen. We gotta clean up that gash and close it up. They let women and fairies work as physicians here? What kind of a place is this? Hey! Magnus, hold still. This might hurt. Ow! You're supposed to be healing me. I know. Women, eh? Oh, Juniper, that's a lot of blood. Ah! Ow! Damn it! Golly gee darn it, that stings! Sorry, I gotta staunch the wound. As well, I was hoping that you might give more thought to taking on young Magnus as an apprentice. Are you serious? Look at the damage he's done in one night. I think of it this way. He is young and hot-tempered, and he has great interest in seeking the powers of dark magic. Something that I understand you yourself have experience in. Who told you that? Magnus needs a guiding hand such as yours to set him on the right course. You want me to teach him dark magic? No, I mean that you have made the journey into the darkest places of the soul and come back to the light. Not interested. I'll fix the kid up, sure, but his karma is your problem. Miss Salix, I hope you'll reconsider. Alba, you're going to have to bandage this one up. I'm feeling woozy. Great. Don't you have thread strong brand sutures? A stitch in time are far better. Not on a wound this deep. These are the D series sutures. They're double enchanted to prevent infection and promote healing. I'm telling you, thread strong is the way to go. <sighs> you want thread strong? Fine. But don't blame me when you come down with drill worms. And they always leave a scar. <laughs> Excellent. Ow! Ow! Hold still! Ow! Who'd you sleep with to get this job? Or are you bestest friends with the queen or something? Her sister, actually. That explains it. Wait a second. You're the queen's sister? Oh, quick on the uptake. That means it was you. You tried to marry the king. Isn't that how it happened? Three sisters tried to save the king's life, and the youngest actually cured him and married him. There are a lot of different stories out there. So does that mean you failed? 
Or did the king just think she was prettier than you? <laughs> Ow! You should lay still and not talk when I'm trying to stitch you up. What? Because I might hit a nerve? Oh, yeah. Hey, is that what he meant about how you've been to the dark places of the soul? Who said that? Father Lang. He said you know dark magic. But he was only trying to get me to take you in. I bet you do. Show me a trick. Show me. Disintegrate something. No. Please? Give it up, Lang. Tell your young monk here that I don't do dark magic. Father Lang? He snuck out. Bloody monks. In <laughs> no way. Alba? Yes, Magnus. Are you evil? You don't want to know. Yeah, I do. No, you really don't. Come on. You could tell me all about your sins. I'm a holy man. Hey, where are you going? You haven't done my leg yet. I'm still bleeding. Good. Keep it up. <laughs> Funny. Alba? Hey, Alba. Get you anything? No, I'm fine. Sorry about ducking out. Phew. All that blood. I had to make some tea calm down a bit. I kind of used the last of your chamomile. But I'll get you some more. Mm -hmm. What you looking for? I can find it for you. Found it, thanks. Alba, that's not wild care, by the way. That's poison hemlock. I know what I'm doing, Holly. Alba, what are you doing? Just taking care of my patient. You're not going to... I mean, I know he's annoying and all, but he's just a kid. You can't just kill him. I've got motive, means, and opportunity. The monk's all up and skip town. Who's going to know or care? I can't let you do this. Get out of my way, fairy. Alba, I thought you were nice. Huh. Or at least I thought you were a good witch, but you're... Yes? I don't know. Alba, are you evil? No. But I like having the option. <sighs> well, thank all the twinkly stars for that. Now get out of my way. I've got to stitch up the idiot kid. <clears throat> Hemlock, hand it over. <sighs> thank you. Will the defendant please stand? Yo! Brother Magnus of Hazelford, this court finds you guilty of endangering the public, destruction of royal property, causing a disturbance, and making a complete mess of the new curtains. I object your kingship! Don't get smart with me. I, Gunther the Third, King of Faloria, do sentence you to 5,000 hours of community service. What? Oh, did I say 5,000? I meant to say 6,000. Damn it. To be served at the House of Healing under the care of Miss Alba Salix, royal physician. What? Hey. In the hopes that she will be a good influence on your character and keep you out of trouble. Gunther, what are you thinking? Court dismissed. Alba, I'm counting on you. You've got their weight. Hey there, boss. Oh, hello, Magnus. You ready to rock? Fine. Let's get back to the House of Healing. Oh, sweet. You can give me my first lesson in black magic. All right, all right. Have you ever had hemlock? No, is it good? In Well Met, Episode 1 of Alba Salix, Royal Physician, you heard Barbara Clifford as Alba Salix, Julian Sark as Magnus and Valtar the Centaur, and Olivia John as Holly. With George Burtwell as King Gunther, Marisa King as Queen Parabel, Carter Siddle as Helbard Crankle and Balthig the Ogre, John Palmieri as Jerome and Father Lang, Jasmine Cheng as Millie and Hiccup's Kid, and Sean Howard, Jason Mann, and Stephen Smith. Written and directed by Eli McElvey. Sound designed by Eli McElveen, produced by Sean Howard. Associate producers Carter Siddle, Eric Portalance, Mark Fenwick, Josh Claver, and Dave Addison. Alba Salix Royal Physician is a Forgery League production. Visit forgeryleague.com. Time to get up.
Magnus! Okay, okay. And your horses. Gee. Hey. It's dark out, Alba. Why'd you wake me up in the middle of the night? It's practically dawn. Practically? But not actually dawn. Therefore, night. Here, take this bottle. I need you to collect the dewdrops from the grass. What for? A lot of spells call for moon drops. Dewdrops collected the night of a full moon. But that means bending over. I'm still wounded, you know. You're fine. It's time for you to start earning your keep. Now get to it before the sun comes up and they burn off. This is inhumane treatment, you know. <sighs> Come on. Damn it, this thing's too small. She could at least give me a jar or a funnel or something. I offer thee a tiny clue. What? Who's there? Whoa. Was that you? I offer thee a tiny clue to catch the precious morning dew. You're a bird. <laughs> it must be the sleep deprivation. I need coffee. Sing a song to every drop. Excuse me? Into the bottle, it will pop. You're not serious. Sing a song to every drop. I am not singing a song to a bunch of dewdrops. I already look like enough of a loser trying to catch dewdrops in a tiny... Damn it! Sing a song! I am not singing. Go away! Do I tell you how to do your job? Sing a song to every drop. Scram! Beat it! Go catch a worm or something! Yeah! Into the bottle, it will pop. Go ahead. One more rhyme and I'll show you my advanced shovel technique. Yes, yeah, same to you. <clears throat> By appointment to the king and queen, Alba Salix, royal physician. <laughs> Episode of the second. Birds and Beasts. Oh, good morning. Wrong on both counts. Oh, Magnus, it's a beautiful morning. And last night, I flew to the stone circle in the Golden Glade with 11 other fairies. We did a dance to the full moon and tried this amazing wine I made from strawberries. Well, aren't you just special? Oh, uh, why are you such a grumpy goose? Let's see. I've been forced into hard labor despite my life-threatening injuries, and at night I have to sleep in the tool shed. But no, wait, I'm not allowed to sleep because it's 4 a.m. and time to gather dewdrops in a thimble. Oh, moondrops, of course. Are you singing to them? Holly, don't you start to. Some bird's already been trying to tell me how to do it. You should always listen to the birds and animals. They're your friends. My friends have bigger vocabularies. So, the dewdrops in Alba's garden usually like the key of B-flat major. It all depends on the type of grass. Watch. <clears throat> Come spring from your leaves, each glimmering bead. See? I am not singing to Alba's front lawn. It's easy. Well, you do it then. Each glimmering... My oh my gosh, they're bringing someone in. Oh, yeah, looks like an emergency case. We better go see. You should stay and get the dewdrops before they're gone. Hey, why don't I go and you get the dewdrops? Remember, B flat. <laughs> yeah, like I know from B flat. Well, thanks a million. <sighs> Spring from your leaves, each glimmering be. <sighs> I hate my life. Holly, there you are. Hi, Alba. Sorry I'm late. I need the Silver Star ointment, the quick knit compresses, and a pair of pliers. You got it. <laughs> Patient is male, mid-40s, with a deep puncture to the right leg and probable concussion. Wait, I know him. That's Jerome, the guy who was in here the other day for his gout, right? And the day before that for a cold, and the day before that for his rheumatism. And now he's got an arrow in his leg. Talk about unlucky. You have to wonder. What happened? Just before sunrise, his son heard a commotion in the hen house, thought it was a wolf, and shot him in the leg with a crossbow. Jerome tried to run, tripped over a blue bantam rooster, and cracked his head on a stone. Wow, he got a goose egg from a chicken? Fell right on his wounded leg, too. Luckily, he hasn't lost too much blood, but we'll have to be careful not to damage the femoral artery. What's up, ladies? Whoa, did he take a crossbow bolt to the leg? That's heavy duty. 
Can I help take it out? I'd rather keep my patient, thanks. <laughs> Holly, I need seven drops of the ointment all around where the arrow went in. Sure thing. Isn't that the Jerome guy you always complain about? The very one. Well, hey, now's your moment. My moment to what? You know, off him. Magnus! I didn't off you. Well, clearly you knew a good thing when you saw it. We all make mistakes. I can do that. I, I can clean out the wound if you want. <coughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> I'm sorry, Jerome. See, she's doing it wrong. <coughs> no, no, I think he's having a reaction to something. The ointment. Maybe he objects to being treated by a fairy. Maybe he objects to the presence of a nasty human. Holly, you shouldn't talk about Alba like that. <coughs> That's very odd. Couldn't be the silver, could it? I'll make up a sanitous tincture. That should disinfect without causing a reaction. No, it won't be as effective. <laughs> yeah, Holly. It is so effective! Hand me the amulet hanging on the door, second hook. This one? Thanks. You're welcome, Alba. Munda me clarifica me clara. Cool, pretty. Right, let's get that arrow out. Holly, get ready to apply pressure on the wound. Sure thing. I know this technique that we learned back at the monastery where you can melt wood. I bet that would work. I need you to stay out of the way, Magnus. I totally studied this. My mind has power over wood. You want something to do? Go up the road to the royal stables and gather up the saltpeter from under the manure pile. What? Saltpeter? It leaches out of the manure as it ages? I know where it comes from. But why me? Why can't Holly do it? I need her help in here. I can do surgery. Magnus! Come on. Why do you think they call it saltpeter? It causes wiltage. Wiltage? Wiltage of the... the peter. You aren't going to eat any, are you? And anyway, why does that matter if you're a monk? I thought you had power over wood. <laughs> it saps the essential masculine energy that I need to perform amazing feats of martial arts. Get out there and shovel. <sighs> this is why the prior warned me not to consort with women. You should have listened to him. Now then, bend the leg towards me, please, and hold the bandage there. Okay. <coughs> Hang in there, Jerome. Maybe Magnus was right. If I didn't have this dope coming to me every day for his non-existent problems, I could have so much time back. Alba, that's an awful thing to say. Having second thoughts about doing good deeds for an evil witch? You aren't evil. You just need someone to help and keep an eye on you. <laughs> Damn witches and fairies, trying to keep a good man down. God, it stinks out here. Dance a turn with yonder broom. What? Oh, great. Now it's squirrels giving me advice. Dance a turn with yonder broom. Thy labors will be over soon. Bite me. I'm not dancing. My manhood's already suffering enough damage. Dance a turn with yonder broom. Go away. Get... Damn rodent! Hey! Uh, yeah! Dance a turn with yonder broom! Beady eyed little freak! Take that! Ha! Hoo! Hiya! Ah! Crap! That should do it, I think. Alba, oh, I think he's coming oh round. Dear. Ow! What, what's wrong with my. Easy I, there, Jerome. Uh, you bumped your head. What's going on? You're at the House of Healing. Try not to move that leg, either. My leg? Do you remember being shot with a crossbow? No, I just remember the moon and <laughs> chickens everywhere. Quit moving around, Jerome. I know you. Yes, sadly. Al Alba, I, I remember you. <laughs> You're nice. He's delirious. Jerome? How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, chickens. <laughs> Tasty chickens. Jerome? Oh! Where's oh. that smell coming from? Uh. Jerome! What? Magnus, what happened? Everybody just shut up. Magnus, what? Oh, d please stop tracking manure everywhere. Why don't you wash up outside? Your neighborhood is full of smug, smart-ass woodland creatures, and they all hate me. Jerome, you really have to relax. Alba, I'm going to make up a Samstrong's potion for Jerome. Did Magnus get enough moon drops? Hey, someone's at the counter. Hello? Excuse me? Oh, drat, I forgot. 
Countess Carnelia has an appointment this morning. Uh, if it's not one thing, it's 800 other things. I see. Hello? She sounds nice. Ridiculous woman. Of course, she is a friend of Parabelle's. Won't take any medicine I give her unless it's leeches. Damn it! Magnus! Now what? We're fresh out of leeches. I need you to gather another jug of them from the pond out back. Yep. That's why I studied surgery at the monastery, so I could shovel crap and fetch leeches. Magnus! Fine. How do I catch them? Easy. You go to the pond, roll up your trousers, and wade in. Oh, that sounds like fun. Or I get a pair of scissors and we can study surgery on your liver. Okay, okay. <laughs> liver. And make sure to pry the leeches off. Never squeeze them. Whatever. Hello? Your ladyship, Miss Salix, good morning. Sorry to keep you waiting. How have you been? Oh, busy, busy. You know how it is, the life of a patron and philanthropist. Of course. Oh, that reminds me. The Queen suggested you might be inclined to make a small donation to the House of Healing. <clears throat> yes, well, I'll have to talk it over with my uh, bookkeeper. I'm reorganizing my giving portfolio, you see, and I've been so dreadfully busy of late. All those salons and parties must have you positively exhausted. Oh, you have no idea. It's been taking a terrible toll, Miss Salix. My health has been in tatters. Oh, just look. My hands are swollen again, and my face is red as a beet. Your hands look fine to me. Oh, no, no, they may look fine, but my hand specialist always told me I'm at great risk of... Of fatsoplasia. You don't say. And my ear, nose, and toenail specialist is warning me I have too much blood in my bloodstream. I mean, look how red I am. Your ladyship, you're about as red as an albino snowman who's seen a ghost. But that's only the outward aspect. A healer such as yourself should know the difference between mere appearances and true inner redness. Yes, of course. I need more leeches. I think the ones you gave me are too full. My assistant is just fetching you some now. Did you drink the tincture I gave you? Yeah, that stinking, undrinkable pink tincture. I really think you should drink that tincture. I tried, but I simply couldn't. You'll let leeches stick themselves to you, but you won't take a simple Miss herbal... Miss Salix, isn't there anything that you can do? I could stitch your mouth shut for a start. <laughs> Hey there, Jerome. I just need you to drink this. Hmm? What's that? It's a Sam Strong's Healing Extreme Potion, made with fresh dewdrops so it's got all the healing power of the full moon. Mm, the moon? <laughs> I like the moon. I know, me too! Just take it easy and I'll be back in a few minutes. <sighs> I like the moon. I like the moon. <laughs> Heck, I should have stayed at the monastery. Okay, pry it off. Don't squeeze. Pry it off. Don't squeeze. That's one. Wait, that's it? One leech? Come on, please don't make me wade back in there. Okay, guys, I'm ready. I'll sing or dance or whatever as long as I don't have to go back in the leech pond. Guys? People of the animal kingdom? Figures. They're never there when you need them. This ought to fix him. <laughs> What's in a vial? Stole it from the witch's pantry. You'll see. <clears throat> Greetings, human child. Oh, hey, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Bird. Sorry about earlier. Uh, Think nothing of it. Any tips on collecting leeches? So far, I got a total of one. One is all you need. Leeches just need the right food, you see. I am not letting them feed on me. Thank you very much. No need for blood. I got something a thousand times more powerful. Aren't you supposed to talk in rhyme? Sometimes you gotta improvise. Break loose, diversify, you might say. Here, take this file. Drake's jelly. What's Drake's jelly? <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Stupid squirrel. You trying to blow this? It's a growth formula, a multiplication factor. It makes leeches multiply? Something like that. Okay, as long as there's no dancing. How do you know all this stuff anyway? You learn a lot when you hang around a witch's house. Hey, he likes it. 
He's actually going for it. Well, gotta buy. Nuts to build, songs to sing. He's getting bigger. Cool. Do they divide in half, like amoebas and camels? Later, human. All right, thanks for the tip. Wow, he's really growing fast. <coughs> Holy crap! Bird, what is this stuff? What did you do? <coughs> oh, gosh. Goodbye, liver. I'll miss you. I want to attest for fatsoplasia. But that's not what you have, your ladyship. I know what I have, on account of being the one who has it. You're showing none of the symptoms. Jerome's had his potion, Alba. Thanks, Holly. Can you go check on Magnus? Will do. My color specialist was telling me I should be taking moose mint leaf. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. Would you please provide me with some in that case? Why are you coming to see me if you have all these specialists? Well, you are the royal physician appointed by the king himself. So nothing to do with the fact that treatment at the House of Healing is paid for by the king himself? <gasps> I don't know what you're insinuating. I'm sure you don't. Do you have any moose mint? No, none. Well, so much for nationalized medicine. Do you actually pay any taxes? Where are my leeches? <laughs> Hey, Holly. Hi, Magnus. How did you do with the leeches? Good, good. Say, this is just a hypothetical question. Yes? If you were going to shrink something, like with magic, how would you do it? Is this about the saltpeter? No, it's about the le... It's about learning basic magic concepts, which I'm trying to do as an apprentice. Magnus, you know fibbing causes acne. Not fibbing. What did you do? Is it the leeches? No. Maybe. What did you do? It wasn't me. It was your friend, the bird. Honest. Let me see that jug. No, don't open it. <coughs> Put the lid back on. Put it on. Magnus, what did you do? It was the bird. He told me to feed them Drake's jelly. What? You know what Drake's jelly is, don't you? It's this green stuff that comes in a tiny bottle. It's where baby dragons come from. What? Worms and leeches are the larval stage. For dragons? Yes. Earthworms turn into hill dragons, leeches turn into water dragons, nematodes turn into vinegar dragons, but they don't do that unless they eat Drake's jelly. That's a real dragon in there? Yeah. Gosh, he had big jaws. All the better to eat us with. Magnus, what's taking so long? Hi, Alba. Please tell me you've managed to catch some leeches. I, uh... Why, yes, as a matter of fact, they're right here. Uh, you don't have to open it, though. I was just thinking that maybe there weren't enough of them. I thought I'd go back for some more. Magnus has something to tell you. Don't you, Magnus? Well, I... That is... Yes? <laughs> Bad dog! Horrible, filthy beast! Help! Toby, what are you doing here? Get this thing away! It's sniffing me! Oh, Toby, get off the countess! I'm sorry, your ladyship. That's just Toby. He sort of turns off every once in a while. Horrible creature. He's probably full of diseases. He's fine. Toby, off. Scram! You can be sure I won't be donating any money to this place. Oh, well. Is that my jug of leeches? Well, you see, it's a... Not a very nice jug, and I thought... Just give the Countess her damned leeches and she'll be on her way. Um, Alba, that's not a good idea. Give me that jug. There you are. So lovely to see you again, your ladyship. Not so fast. You'd better not be trying to cheat me. No! Don't open it! Magnus, tell them! Honest, there's lots in that jug. I counted twice. I'm supposed to believe you, you unsanitary little man. And it's a very tricky stopper, and you won't be able to get it back in. Yes. You've got your leeches, now have a lovely day and hope you feel better soon. What are you all trying to hide? Nothing, but the leeches are very sensitive to light. For heaven's sake! Countess, you can't have that jug! There's a giant dragon in there! <laughs> Holly, what's gotten into you? I've never heard such rubbish in my life. <laughs> yeah, Holly, <laughs> what rubbish? But no, seriously, Countess, I wait until you get home to... <laughs> Open it. Magnus! It's not my fault. That's a water dragon. Oh, he's beautiful. What have you done now? I deny everything. Get back! 
He's already so much bigger. Who's a good little dragon? Help! Recorder is going to eat us! Mr. Dragon? I'm going to call him Langley. I'm guessing you're too young to understand what I'm saying. But we're not going to hurt you. We're just going to edge along this wall toward the back door, if that's all right. That's pretty much a no. So much for diplomacy. I bet I could take him. Want me to subdue him? Magnus, you be nice to Langley. Get it away from me! Kill it! You're both scaring him! There, there, little guy. No! Get it away! For heaven's sake! Only saw me Oculus in Playbond. What did that do? Hmm. I guess that sleeping spell doesn't work on dragons. Really ugly. Works on countesses, at least. <laughs> now listen, dragon. That's the Countess Cornelia. She's my patient and the Queen's best friend. So you'd better eat all of her. I don't want any evidence. Alba, come on, Langley. Let's get you down to the seaside where you can get something proper to eat. <laughs> Langley, be nice. If only I had some kind of a weapon. Magnus, leave it. And Holly, quit trying to pet him. Listen. You're the only one who can fly. I need you to... Holly, be careful! That is one weird-looking dog. Holly, now, while he's distracted. Get inside. Get me the glass wand and the duckweed pollen. Duckweed pollen? Oh, of course. That's a great idea. Go, now. Okay. Yep. Lead him on. Just a little further. That's it. Don't mind me. Magnus, what are you doing? Ha-ha! Yeah! Get back, Val Fiend! I have the power of shovel! That's not helping! Magnus! Yeah! Snicker snack, baby! You like that? Yeah. Ah, ah, crap! Help! Good boy, Toby. Dragon. Nice dragon. Oh, God, you're killing me here. Wow, they grow up so fast, don't they? He's been a dragon for 15 minutes and he can already climb a wall while carrying a gangly human boy. I just had that roof replaced, too. Alba, he's drooling on me. Oh, my God. Help! Oh, Toby. I didn't know you had a dog, Alba. Oh, no. Toby's not mine. He just shows up every few weeks. Ah, oh, he likes you. Look, he wants tummy rubs. He's all right. He's got such a funny build, though. Like a walrus terrier or... Alba, he couldn't be a werewolf, could he? He's not a werewolf. It's broad daylight, in case you hadn't noticed. Although, come to think of it, I've never seen him during the day before. Guys! A little help with this dragon. He's trying to eat my... I guess we should see the Langley, huh? I guess we should. I take it the duckweed pollen is for a shrinking spell? Exactly. I need you to fly up there and sprinkle the pollen on the dragon's back, then tap him three times with this glass wand and say, Nonest parvum vocentio. Got it. Hi, Langley. It's just me. Hold still now. Nonest parvum vocentio. Thank goodness that worked. I'm falling to my death, and who does she rescue? He's hungry and scared. And besides, you had the shrubbery to break your fall. I hate you all. Mm. Have I mentioned? What, what, what happened? Your ladyship, are you all right? What am I doing at the House of Healing? You passed out. Oh, it was a horrible thing. It tried to eat me. It sounds terrible. You, you must have been having a nightmare. Yes. Yes, that's it. Just a nightmare. <laughs> no! Get it away! Help! Help, guard! Help, 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 Good boy, Toby. Remind me to give him a biscuit. That figures. Fine. I'll give you a biscuit, too. I should get this little guy down to the seaside before he gets big again. Yes, do you mind? Take him up north of the Cape if you have time. Come on, Langley. Let's hit the beach. So, that turned out okay. Magnus. Yes, ma'am? 
How exactly did that leech manage to come into contact with Drake's jelly? It was the bird's fault. I guess she didn't like me for some reason, and she gave me this bottle of... This is my bottle, from my pantry. Yeah, she must have got in through the window, which Holly still hasn't fixed. A bird stole it. Is that the best you can come up with? Honest, I'd never heard of this stuff. The bird said it would make them multiply. You lived at the Dragon Mountain Monastery, and you never knew where dragons come from? I guess no one sat me down and had that little talk. It's not like it comes up a lot in day-to-day -day medicine, is it? I suppose not. Toby! Hmm. Where did he go? Oh, oh well. He never stays for long. It's as if there's a voice calling him on oh. down the road. Oh. Where am I? Jerome, what are you doing out here? You need to rest. And for heaven's sake, put some clothes on. Oh, okay. Look, you're ruining the dressings we put on you. Sorry, Alba. Magnus, clean up all those roof tiles. Fine. I think I broke another bone. <clears throat> what? Who's there? Let the tiles lay where they fell, except for one, and smash it well. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not taking any bogus household hints from a rabbit. Beat it! Yeah! Hooah! Oh, God. Magnus! Sorry! Birds and Beasts, Episode 2 of Alba Salix, Royal Physician, you heard Barbara Clifford as Alba Salix, Julian Sark as Magnus, and Olivia John as Holly, with Elaine O'Neill as Countess Carnelia, John Palmieri as Jerome and the Squirrel, Jasmine Cheng as the Bird, and Clive E. Milne as the Rabbit. Written and directed by Eli McElveen. Engineered by John Palmieri. Sound designed by Eli McElveen. Produced by Sean Howard. Associate producers Carter Siddle, Eric Portalance, Mark Fenwick, Josh Claver, and Dave Addison. Alba Salix Royal Physician is a Forgery League production. Visit forgeryleague.com. Sonic Society Season 10 is written and produced by Jack J. Ward and David Alt, with original music provided by Sharon B. at SharonB.com. All features, interviews and audio drama shorts are owned completely by their originators and provided to the Sonic Society through Creative Commons licensing. The Sonic Society itself originates from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. This has been an Electric Vicuna production. Somewhere in the lush pastures just outside the Mutual Audio Network building. We're staying away again in Mad Dog Oh, sorry, give me the bottle.
No. Now. No. Jack said we had to do this. For the AD community. Hey, Jan, we got your text. Hey, yeah, what's up? You said Brother Lothar needed us? Thanks, Jeff, Jack. Uh, yeah, Lothar. He's, well, really wasted. And he won't stop drinking. I think this one's going to take all three of us. Well, I know he likes his cocktails, but isn't this a bit early, even for him? And why is he singing about Mad Dog 2020? Jan, what's this about? Lothar, overheard you talking about Mad Con 2020, and, well, he misheard. Wait. Are you saying that... Yeah, he thought you said there would be three days of Mad Dog 2020, not three days of Mad Con in 2020. And he's been drinking that swill ever since. Getting out in the rain. Oh, let me talk to him. Thanks. I tried to tell him, but I think that stuff's already rotted what's left of his brain. Here, I'll take one for the team. (laughs) Hey, brother. Hey, Jeff. You here for some Mad Dog 2020? Um, yeah, but, uh, they were out at the store. Can I have, a swig off yours? Of course, brother. Lothar, you shouldn't be drinking that. I'm not. (laughs) Jeff is. (laughs) No, 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 no. I mean, look, you heard us talking about Mad Dash Con 2020, not Mad Dog 2020. Uh, what's your bucket? Oh, 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 this stuff is almost as bad as Ripple. Mad Dash Con. The modern audio drama convention. It's the first convention of its kind. And it'll occur in 2020. A convention? Yes, yes. Producers, directors, writers, editors, composers, actors, and and fans of audio drama are going to come from all over to Halifax, Nova Scotia for the weekend of July 24th to the 26th of 2020. We have all sorts of things scheduled. We have recording sessions and workshops, panels, and the opportunity for folks, fans, and creators alike to meet in person. www.mad-con.com. That's mad-con.com has all the details, including how to register. That's, that was a really cool idea, man. Oh, that's much better than drinking this stuff. Oh... God, I've only had three sips, and I'm not sure I can feel my face. Oh. Come on, honey, let's get you back inside. Thanks, guys. No problem, Lady Jan. We're not going to let him live this one down anytime soon, are we? Oh, I should think not. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Yeah. Remember to listen and drink responsibly, listeners. Mad Dash Con 2020. Not to be confused with any kind of fortified wine. Oh. Yeah! 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 Yeah!